Hi, it's Captain Anderton here. And I'm Misha Mansour, reporting for the NAM O'Clock News. Well, Misha, it's great to see you again. It's great to um, see you too, buddy. Yeah, we're on the PV stand. Uh, do you want to talk about gear or do you want to talk about games? Oh, man, that's a tough call. <laughs> I, I guess we have to talk about gear because we're at NAM. I probably. suppose we should. Well, your middle name should be Midas Touch. I think <laughs> Mid Misha Midas Touch Mansour because... Um, you're doing the Jackson thing, smashing it. The uh, precision drive is smashing it. The invective sounds insane. Thanks, uh, Thank you. Get, uh, well, but as we're on the PB stand, you better tell me a little bit more about uh, the invective and, and. Yeah, I mean, it's what it's what I tell people. Like, if you ever get the opportunity to design an amp with a company, you say yes, <laughs> and that's what it was. Uh, it was just kind of this thing that you know I approached them. I was like, hey, I have an idea, and they're like, all right. Let's see, let's see what you got. And it was my opportunity to get every little feature I'd ever wanted in an amp. You know, all the things I, I ever wanted. I, here's a great example. It's like I, I was at home and I had like, uh, I think my Strymon Big Sky and Timeline. The amp has two serial effects loops, yep. right? In sequence. And I was plugging them in, you know, uh, and they're, they're MIDI foot switchable with the included MIDI foot switch that the amp comes with. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, man, it'd be great. Uh, they're just sitting on the amp. It'd be great if I could just power them off the amp. So I was like, can you guys put power? You know, like give me like 500 yeah. milliamps of power, nine volt negative tip. They're like, why not? So it's got two of them. Yeah, it's just I saw these that. weird little it's things a, that like, I was like, well, that's idea. how I'm using it at home. So I'm sure other people would like that. And then you can like remote control it from the pedal. Yeah. Have MIDI on everything, you know. And there's a lot of things about the amp where, you know, like it's, it, it started life as a as a as a 5150 block letter, like yeah. the old the old model with the old transformer, you know, and like. Uh, the engineer there, John Fields, brilliant guy, basically recreated that, and that's what was the platform that we started with. So that's like what I use. Like I, you know, I have one of those. Like I, I use that model on the Axe FX when I'm recording and live. You know, yeah. so it's it's just a very good place to start. And then we were able to tweak and I was learning a lot about how amps work, like how much of a difference the output transformer can make. And we, sure. spent, we spent a lot of time working on that stuff. So, I think on like old vintage amps, it's all about the output. Right, form, right. Well, I didn't realize sense. until we were starting it's, to play around. I was every, like, wow. Everybody starts going, oh, I'll change the tubes or something like that. And you don't realize it's the, it's the output transformer. Output transformer, transformer like you're changing tubes for like, you know, 1% difference. Output transformer will make all the, yeah. it completely changes. Yeah. So we really spent a lot of time with that. Um, and yeah, not, not a lot of people realize that. I didn't even realize that until we were working on it. Mm. Um, and then the other thing was like, you know, those style amps uh, have usually like, not the best clean channel, you know? It's not even really a clean channel. It's just kind of like a <laughs> dirty channel with a gain rule down. Yep. So I was like, I want the clean channel of all clean channels. I wanted it to actually, I wanted it to be a little bit compressed because I'm like, you know, the nature of a high gain amp. Yeah. Gain is compressed. Yeah. And I always thought it was very weird when you had these like high gain amps that had very sort of dynamic clean channels because it was very hard to set the volumes on them. Yeah. You always need like a compressor pedal. So this is lightly compressed. You obviously could still put a compressor on it, but it does equalize it, normalizes it. So it seems very well suited yep. to the rest of the amp, and it is such a good clean channel. It was like honestly, uh, John Fields had this like up his sleeve. He had been looking for an excuse <laughs> to use it. I think he was going to use it for an amp that was just a clean channel. And I was like, that's that's amazing. So you can feed pedals into it. That's what I do. Is I just you can have an entire pedal board be your entire rig, just go into that clean channel and not even touch anything else on the amp, and it's worth the price I, of admission. I love that right you're there. such a gear nerd. And oh, I'm like, the worst, man. It's, it's, but that's it's, why we're friends. <laughs> absolutely. Because <laughs> your store is dangerous, man. Uh, it's, but it sounds good. So have you had a chance to tour the Invec yeah, or use it in the studio. Well, yeah, or? yeah. I've, I've. Uh, so live, we have the Axe FX, mm -hmm. and we have a system. So uh, you know, the guys, the, the crew are a bit reticent to like, you know, switch completely over to yeah. amps. So I'm just like sneaking Squeezing. these things in. Yeah. So now we've got the Invective amps and cabs, and we're using it as a power amp, which was actually another design goal. Yeah. I was like, so many of our peers use Axe FX modelers and whatever, and amps always, you know, if you play it through the effects, it'll color the sound a certain way. I wanted something that really genuinely sounded good, nice and balanced. So you're back in the effects cool. return or something, are you? Straight yep, into the, exactly. the power section? Yeah, just straight into the power section. Uh, interestingly enough, the clean is so good on the amp that if you plug into the just mm. clean channel, you have an added little EQ. And well, it you need bad. that because your Axe FX rig goes from complete sparkle clean, doesn't right, it, with lots right. of effects on it and to, to super high gain. So, yeah. And I guess the amp's just trying to replicate you want, that. Yeah, you want something that will like be nice and sort of neutral across the way, but give you that sort of warmth and that feel that tubes have. That Honestly, you only get out of the, a, a tube power section. Uh, especially at volume. So yeah, that's great. That's our stage sound, you know, but then we still go direct. Well, I'm trying to convince the the, the, the guys to let me like have a pedal board set up with rig. Uh -huh. Like that's, and the problem is, is that it will be great for me, 
Yeah. And I don't have to set it up. <laughs> so that's why it's a bit of a battle, but I am fighting the good fight on that. You better believe it, man. And rest of 2018 then, what's the plan? Recording, recording, recording. We're definitely going to be using the Invective in the studio. It records so well. It was kind of a design goal, so as we were yeah. I was testing it out for that, and it, it really does record fantastically. So we're going to be using that a lot. But yeah, we're, we're kind of taking a year off. We're not going to be touring. We're okay. just going to take our time with this album. And Still the periphery awesome. the main project yep. or any of the other projects coming along? Or? No, I mean, I, we always have side projects uh, and, you know, we're going to work on those in our free time. Uh, this year's a bit free form, you know? We haven't really had this where we could just be like, we're just going to take the year off and see what happens. Good for Take you. our time. You know, I think I needed it, man. No, <laughs> so, well, look, come. Um, do you want to do the traffic report or now do the weather report? Or sure, you, sure, okay, sure. We're in LA then. and the traffic is horrible at all times. Okay, yeah, yeah, but, but the big. weather is fantastic at all times. Yeah, so that's kind of, I might move out here. I'm anyway, serious. I've been the captain. I have been Misha Mansour. <laughs> With Anderton's TV, you've been watching the Nam O'Clock News. I thank you so much. You're a very nice man. You're a very nice man too. <laughs> I, really, I really do love you, man. <laughs> See you soon, everybody. Bye. Bye.